Sometimes you will want your web applications to run other programs on the web server. For example, you might want to run a PDF conversion program or a backup utility. In this lesson, you'll learn how to run external programs from your ASP.NET web applications. To begin, open the .NET Expert project from your sample files folder. And open backup.aspx in design view. When complete, this page will backup and restore the application's database. You'll use an external program to do this. First, add a click event handler to the button backup now control. Now add a using line to the top of the page for system dot diagnostics. The classes used to run external programs are held in the system dot diagnostics namespace. Specifically, you'll use the system dot diagnostics dot process class. Now you'll need to add some code to your new event handler to run the backup database dot bat program. Add the following code to the new event handler. String program path equals server dot map path tilde forward slash backup database dot bat. This code extracts the path to the program and places it in the program path variable. Server dot map path converts paths from internal paths, such as tilde forward slash backup database dot bat, into actual locations on the web server. In this case, the final path will be C practice ASP.NET Expert dot net expert dot net expert backup database dot bat. Now add the following code on the next line. Process dot start program path. This simple code will run backup database dot bat when the button is clicked. This will work with any kind of program, not just .bat files. Files that run programs on your computer are known as executable files. You can run any executable file using the same code as you've used in this lesson. Executable file types include .exe, .bat, .com, .cmd, dot dll dot scr and dot reg now return to backup dot aspx in design view and add a click event handler to the button restore now control now you're going to add some code to run the restore database dot bat program Add the following code to the new event handler. String program path equals server dot map path tilde forward slash restore database dot bat process dot start program path. Now let's test your code. View backup dot aspx in your web browser. Now click Backup Database Now. Backup Database .bat is executed and appears on your screen. Note that you are seeing this because your own computer is acting as the web server. 
this wouldn't appear to users browsing the site over the internet. Now press any key to close backupdatabase.bat and, using Windows Explorer, navigate to the .NET Expert folder in your Sample Files folder. Now open the second .NET Expert folder and open the Backups folder. As you can see, a copy of the database has been placed in this folder by the BackupDatabase.bat program. The RestoreDatabase.bat program simply copies the backup back into its original location. Note that you may find that the backup utility fails to copy the database, complaining that the database is in use by another process. This may happen if you have not closed Visual Studio since working through Lesson 11 1. To fix this problem, simply close and reopen Visual Studio. Close your web browser now and close Visual Studio. You've now completed Lesson 11 3. Run an external program.